story is on the school interface card. Now you will see it just there in the middle. There are four houses who take part in the Interhouse Rugby. They are Gordon, Seaton, Fraser and Bainwick. Each house plays against each other for the cup. Why do you think it's important to have an event like the Interhouse Rugby? Uh, well, the Interhouse Rugby event is just one of many Interhouse events we have and it's important rugby is up there with, with the rest of the, the sports. There's a wee bit of history to the Interhouse Rugby. Uh, the Rugby Club, the Rugby Club, um, actually donated the trophy uh, for this, it's well, a glass shield, uh, so, it's, so there's a bit of history and at the moment Interhouse Rugby is just played at senior level, it's just been a tradition to work at uh, from uh, S4 to S6, especially with rugby ready now, we can't mix these groups up, but uh, there is work that we might like consider doing it for juniors as, as the other activities have, so it works throughout, but uh, it's, a, it's important, but as I say, a very strong Interhouse and we actually use a lot of our inter-house uh, competitions as trials before uh, inter-school and uh, we have the, the, the Grampian Sevens coming up just shortly after the, uh, the inter-house rugby so that's something for the boys to work and get experience within the game for that event so it, it serves a lot of purposes. How has the ch teams improved over the years? Well in recent years we've probably had more success in rugby uh, than we've had in the time that rugby has been introduced to the, to the Gordon schools. Uh, we've, obviously we've had a wee bit of a dip in, in the last year or so, but three, three years ago it was, uh, uh, we got to the, the plate finals uh, of, of, in our national and there was over 90 schools uh, and we had Hoy, and everybody knows Hoy is one of the, the main, or traditionally always one of the main teams uh, in Scotland for rugby. So it was a great honour to go down to Murrayfield, we actually had three the uh, busloads of supporters down, so it was a big day for us. Uh, and unfortunately, the team got a very good performance, but uh, lost the day. But to reach the final in itself, uh, a national event like that was, was some achievement. Uh, we've also had success with the girls. The girls have won uh, the shield at Murrayfield and the bowl, and we've also reached uh, uh, finals where we have been unlucky. So we've made a name for ourselves um, with rugby over the years. Uh, and things are looking up. There's a few ones, the ones that are actually doing the interviews here, uh, are, are in the semi-finals now. Of the, so this is really good. We've got a junior, a junior squad coming up with very good potential. Uh, we've reached the semi-finals in the north of Scotland. So that's from Keith Ness right down to Gordon's uh, Cup, basically. It's a huge area over, over to Oban um, in the Western Isles. In fact, to get into the final, we'll beat uh, Stornoway. Nicholson Institute in Stornoway, so it's really good to, to reach the semi-finals and then that same squad won the North Scotland uh, Rugby League uh, yesterday in fact, so so things are, are starting to be in the up, uh, we've had a wee bit of a slump over the last two years, things are now looking up and it's a good little young squad and when you have a strong squad it brings others on as well. Thank you. The Interhouse Rugby Cup started in 1988 and it's still going to this day. That's 27 years it's been going for. Do you like the Interhouse Rugby event and why? I like the Interhouse Rugby event because it helps the promote competition between the, the different houses in the school. Also, it helps to promote rugby within the school, which I think is a good sport. And it also means that people who don't normally play rugby can actually have a chance to do that because it's not always who do you think will win the Indians rugby event this year? Um, well, I might say Bainick, but they won't actually win anything. But I don't know. It's quite even, I think, this year. Who do you think will win the trophy this year? Well, I think Seton have got the potential, but um, I'm going to have to go for Gordon, I think. As they've got slight advantages in the defence. Who do you think will win the Interhouse Rugby event this year? Hopefully Seaton, but I think Fraser are going to snatch this one. Who do you think will win the trophy this year? I think Gordon will win because they have a good score. Who do you think will win the trophy this year? Gordon. Who do you think will win the Interhouse Rugby event Bainic. this year? Fraser. Who do you think will win the trophy this year? Oh, Bainic. What is the point of having an Interhouse Rugby event? Well, rugby has been a big thing in the school since, well, it's on the like, siblings and everything. 
Um, it's a good competitive thing to do. Get more points for your house. What is the point of this event? Uh, so people who haven't like, tried Red Room before can just play with me for the first time and try it out and see if they get it. What is the point of having an interest So that uh, people who never played rugby before can have the chance to play rugby. What is the point of this this event? And to influence the sport around. Us. What is the point of this event? So more people will play rugby. What is the point of this event? Beat Benick. Beat Fraser, I suppose that. <laughs> what is the point of this event? Quite actually, I think it's about smashing people. No, no, I'm joking. Uh, working as a team. Like to get the end result, but smashing folks pretty fun too. <laughs> so yeah, especially John Dalman. Is it a good idea to have an inter-house event? Yes. Good idea to have inter-house events. Uh, yes, I think so because it uh, strikes up a bit of competition in between the houses, and it's uh, good to have a bit of competition within the school as well. A good idea to have an inter-house event. Yeah, so the houses can get points. Is it a good idea to have inter-house events? Uh, yeah, because then um, there's good competition between the houses. Is it a good idea to have inter-house events? Yeah, so people will get points. Is it a good idea to have inter-house events? Yeah, it's a really uh, good it's, idea. It's a native shopping idea, you see, uh, it gets foot going. <laughs> Break uh, a few eggs, exactly. can't be that. Is it a good idea to have the inter-house inter event? Definitely it brings out a bit of rivalry between each house. <laughs> also, it's fun smashing people, as I might have mentioned before, especially John Dalman. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Yep. Cheers.